So, line plastering, which is an old uh, technique they used to do, would basically they were covering uh, the stones they have on the wall, you know, with a gravel, with some material, lime material or whatever. Uh, okay, with some mix, and they basically the covering it, and of course it will start chipping away and stuff like that. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. This is basically three materials. We have the wall, we have the brick, and we have the gravel. So, the other renders are not something. They are pretty much the same, but with different light conditions. As you can see that with a few changes, the wall can work as its own. Okay, since it has all that nice detail. Uh, yeah, let's go to our graph. This is our graph. We're going to start with the bricks, tile random. Okay. If you don't know this already, shift space will start, uh, will tile this, or will we'll basically start placing it everywhere until it can tile. And okay, tile random, nothing major. Pattern is basically brick. Pattern specific. Okay, everything else is pretty much the default ones. Uh, after that, I do a slightly warp, and then I want to do a transformation to do to basically stretch everything up. Now, because I know this is going to go underneath a wall, I don't necessarily care if it's going to tile or not. But if you're going to show more brick than a wall, then keep in mind that you have to make this to actually tile. Okay, then I'm doing a slow blur grayscale. Okay, to start chipping away into our bricks. Don't worry, even this is an ugly shape. You can see that in the end it actually looks like a stone or a stone. So, this is for the bricks. Let's go into working our wall. We we'll start with the clouds too. Or, you know, change the random shape if you don't like this. Uh, the levels, we're basically going to bring this up to isolate a few islands. And then I'm going to use transformation to D. And I'm basically zooming in. And because we're zooming in, you will see that we don't have tiling anymore so an easy way to fix this is by using a make it tile photo okay and it's going to do a few stuff and it's going to basically bring it uh, make it tile okay like you can see that it's not uh, we can we might see a few uh, you know few edge seams but for our purposes it's going to work and this as you can see won't even show on the final one, so it's all good. After that, I'm going to use a safe transformation grayscale because I basically want to get rid of the cross you see on the center. Okay, so I'm bringing it over here so we can start blurring it and basically vanish it. After that, I'm going to do a slow blur grayscale from a pale noise uh, zoom. Okay, nothing special over there okay and we have slow blue gray scale and then again we're doing another uh, this one is with mean again so it starts to get rid of uh, some bigger shapes and then I'm doing uh, the exact same thing with a pelinoid zoom which has a greater distance and we start getting this uh, the chipping away and as you can see that the tiling or the seams we had uh, are pretty much vanished around maybe they are over here and well they aren't over here because you can see that uh, it doesn't exactly tile uh, well it tiles uh, fine so uh, after that we're going to create our masks we're going to use two masks and with this we're just going to subtract from a uniform color now I'm going to use all the colors I'm going to use I'm just going to use uh, 2k resolution oh, okay if you want to be you know performant then of course as I've seen so in previous videos then do this okay and then scale this to held to parent okay because I'm lazy I'm not going to use that so anywhere you see uniform color just change this to this okay Plant, 
I'm going to invert the grayscale and with the levels I'm going to uh, fix up a little bit my masks which I'm going to use later both for the height both and for the blend and then coloring and I'm going to use this mask basically to add uh, well for the roughness for the most part and to blend my wall uh, normal with the brick uh, normal so let's uh, go a little bit back so we were on our bricks okay so let's go work with their microsurface for starters so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a few noises the first one I'm going to get a black and white spots too and I'm going to get a directional warp and I'm going to plug in this uh, basically this one the output of this and I'm doing this because I want to start getting a little bit the you know the flow of the rocks you can see that we get the outline of course this is way way too much so we can't use that as it is but if we subtract on top of a previous shape okay it doesn't have to be a lot just 17 will do you will see that it starts getting uh, giving it a more natural flow that uh, the rock was triated uh, naturally and then when you break it when they broke it up or something like that or the chiseling okay it give the impression so it's basically just a way to break the uniformly of, well, of the rock uh, after that I'm going to get the same black and white spots with the levels I basically want to isolate a few of the spots subtract okay we have this and then with a histogram range I'm going to basically leave it by on the defaults because I'm going to blend all the other stuff on top of this so by help we can go uh, lower and we can also go higher if we want and we have a roughness for the brick which is basically uh, I'm just doing the opposite or well, the inverting the grayscale because I want to grab the edges I'm going to do a blend with this again with a multiply so adjust isolate all the edges then with the levels we're going to shape it up a bit and then blend it back up with main darken okay and you will see that if you want the rocks to shine on top of this then you should just leave it like this okay well this isn't too bad either so this is going to be the the roughness for the bricks and I'm going to s change this to run the cylinder because it's a little bit better so after that we have our gravel which is really nothing we basically get a uh, pearly noise zoom uh, yeah the one we are going to use just the default values and I'm going to blend it with a fractal some base as you can see and it's pretty much the default so that it's not basically uniform over here and then I'm going to do a histogram range which is going to determine how much it sits away from the brick and then we're going to blend our bricks you can see that we have uh, the gravel and the bricks and the mask we're using is basically again the mask for the bricks uh, after that I knew I wanted to add to make the gravel sit a little bit higher than the bricks so what I did is I did another pass for the gravel and uh, this time I just took this inverted it to a levels you can start warping this to get rid of some of these lines okay if you want to do it you can but it doesn't really matter that much although yeah I guess this one is maybe too extreme okay then I've used a bevel snow which is going to give this a more uh, strength look okay going to set it up a little bit and then with a blend with a max lighten and okay around this I think it's enough you can of course go all the way up high which is going to give you something like this 
Okay, of course you can, if you start adding a lot more microsurface on this, then you can have even something that looks even different. Let's leave it like that, although it might be a little bit too extra. Well, while we're here, let's try with a slow blur. Grayscale, let's use this cloud, clouds 2. Uh, class one. Uh, let's see if this will actually do anything. Okay, we, well, we have a little bit more uh, natural look to it. So, uh, that's for the bricks and the gravel. We're basically over here. We have this. And this pretty much means we can start blending things together. We have our wall masks and from this one we're going to go into the wall blend which we are over here and I'm going to invert the grayscale which, no, I'm not going to invert the grayscale. Uh, I'm going to keep it as it is but if you want to invert it it's basically... Yeah, that's not actually going to work. Well, actually it can work. Uh, if you had a different material than the bricks over here, like you can see that uh, it gets a different look to it. So maybe there was like uh, a few ore tiles on top of this and they got destroyed like this. Uh, it's not that bad. If you start working a little bit, you do a little bit of changes, I think you can actually change this, uh, you know, make it into its own material. So I'm going to just leave this at false, so if you want to delete it then by all means do it. Now after that I wanted to give a little bit more height, but just for the bricks. So what I did, I still got the same one we have over here, the slow blur grayscale from our bricks. And then I'm going to run a levels node to take all of this. And actually while we're here, we could just take this, I believe and use it directly for bricks, as you can see it's going to give a whole different uh, look to it and that's actually not even that bad we might need to uh, you know, to fix a little bit of this of the gravel so let's see if we lower max lighting entirely Yeah, we need a little bit of gravel so that it doesn't entirely fit like it's uh Yeah, this actually is not even that bad. Okay. Or we can, now that I think of it, we're going to leave it uh, back where it was. And we're going to throw this level right back over here. Let's see if that's going to work. Let's drop it here. Let's select all of this. Let's drop it here. And then let's start raising or lowering. That's a little bit too much. Let's see. As you can see, you can always find new stuff to do, like the materials never stop, uh, you know, the work with materials will never stop. Uh, let's go with values because I want to have a little bit more control with this. So, maybe around f this one, I think it's going to be uh, enough. Oh, well. That just vanishes all our yeah. It's a delicate balance, as you guess. But yeah, this isn't even too bad. Well, it's really close to what we had before. So let's leave it at that and let's move on. Okay, 
we were over here levels and basically breaking up their, s their servers with clouds one node okay we're breaking this and then we're going to blend them with the brick mask so we actually get a little bit more height into our rocks and after that our height will be this you can separate I believe if you add a curve node let's see although I think it's might not work that good let's see yeah that didn't do much let's see we have scale hmm. let's see with uh, histogram scan if we can do something although I don't believe we can uh, this is going to give the opposite results of what we want I believe well anyway let's just leave it at that we can separate the height differences by you know by changing the the values for individual for each one of these so anyway let's move on if you want to do it then just add histogram over here histogram range or scan or well range probably okay and separate it and that will actually work because we have max lighten well anyway so after that we, we have the wall blend which basically we're taking everything and this is how you can control the height of the wall okay as you can see over here well let's go with something higher of course So this is just a uniform color. We have our wall blend. We saw the invert gray scale. We have our height. So after the height, we're going to do the first normal, uh, the first normal pass with just intensity of 20. Uh, now that we have our basically our big shapes, now we can start working with the wall, uh, the wall microsurface as you can see all these little nice bumps and changes now I knew I wanted to have a little bit of striation because usually when this is applied it's applied with uh, actually I think we need to refix the the height a little bit so I'm going to raise this on top So yeah, as I was saying, I knew I had uh, the when they is applied, they are applied with a brush, so it's usually uh, downward strokes, unless you pay, didn't pay the constructor all his money, so you know he decided to do a lazy job. So okay, I, I'm going to start with a few ground maps. The first one, ground map two, I've lowered a little bit the balance so we get the downward striations or the vertical striations and then basically adding noise on top of this with the ground map 13 we're blending them with max light and, and then because this is liquid paste you usually see spots like this so I'm going to use this and I'm basically using the ground map and then with a the safe transformation I just break it a little bit uh, so that it doesn't look uniformly with other stuff we've done because you can change the random seed to whatever you want but these aren't uh, technically these aren't random okay they are from a look at table because how you how we know that is because if you have two of the same nodes the same random seed okay they have the same output and that's what you actually want of course if you if it wasn't like that and it was too random 
then that means every time you save it and reopen it, you will have a different output. Although it's going to be, it will have been fun, but you probably don't want to do that. Okay, so we're blending basically uh, all our ground maps together, and this is going to give us a nice uh, mix of stuff, and then throwing that into a normal node. Okay, lots of variation. We're blending it with the previous normal. Okay, the wall mask. And after that, a level switch removes all the alpha and then we output it into our normal map. After that, we have, we turn it into a curvature smooth, ambient occlusion, and to a dirt map which we're going to use in the color. Okay. Let's see the roughness, since it's only this. So for the roughness, we had our brick, uh, our brick roughness, which uh, we're going to just blend again with uh, the gravel, since the gravel already has a lot of information we can use, and it's not something sophisticated. Okay. These are rough surfaces, so you're probably not going to see a lot of stuff reflect from that. Or you might, I don't know. Okay, so we're blending it together and then we're going to go over here. We're going to blend it with uh, the wall. So that means we still need to wall to use the wall mask. We're blending it. Okay, we have something that looks like this. Basically, for I'm going to use what I used in the micro surface, but I'm going to blend it with a fractal sum base, as you will see over here, just a max lighten so that it basically gets rid of these black areas. Otherwise, it was going to shine in there, so that's not what we want. Okay, we have this, and then we blend it together, and then we output it into the roughness. Metallic is over here. Again, as I said, if you want to not be lazy, you know, add the levels node, change the resolution, and so on, and so on. And actually, this... Yeah, anyway. Okay, so, the last, of, uh, the last thing we need to do is, of course, do the coloring. So, for the coloring, I started with the bricks, okay, the one we output everywhere, and I've use a directional warp because again I want to get the striations and I use the directional warp on top of its own self and of course I'm going to blend it I'm going to start with the cloud 3 and I'm going to subtract the striations okay because we don't need all of this and then I'm going to stop subtract a little bit more with a bl from a black and white spots too as you can see, it's directly the input we have over here. Okay. And we start isolating all of this. We're going to use this as a mask. So the first pass is going to be this color. Okay. Again, do levels and change the resolutions. Okay. We start to get a little bit uh, variation into the color. After that, the next one we're going to we're going to get the black and white spots and we're going to add these spots on top of our color and then the color i'm using for this one is basically or use a white color or use the same one but change the lightness raise the lightness and make the saturation to zero and after that we're going to use the the first one we got when we from our directional warp where we remove the clouds tree and we're going to come over here and we're just going to copy it on top of this so this will give us the little nice uh, dark edges you see on the stone okay yeah this of course looks like too extreme by itself but you will see that on the end you're not going to actually see it and this is just the black color and after that we're going to just add more noise grounds map 13 you can see the changes i did over here 
copy this on top of it and you will see you will start to get a little bit more nice information after that we're going to use the same one but I'm going to rotate it basically by 90 degrees and then we're going to blend this with this darker color okay and we get even more detail into our brick now for the gravel we're going to reuse some of this so what I start with this base color I'm going to use the same black and white spots the same levels I'm just going to get uh, a safe transform grayscale offset it rotate it okay if you don't want to do this basically just copy paste this this two change the seed but it doesn't really matter since these are all the same and the color of course we're going to add white color we're going to do again the same with uh, these pots but I'm going to basically just offset it once without rotating because with the safe transfer grace uh, with this basically if you change the the rotation uh, at some points you will see that it actually starts to shrink a little bit the pattern or it was my what I think I thought it does but anyway okay so basically that's going what it's going to use the same but I'm just only going to offset it and yeah well after that before I do that you can see the pass is over here basically with such black spots I'm going to use I'm going to do the same on the grass map 13 okay move it offset it uh, you can rotate it although it doesn't matter you can see that the gravel is just too small for anyone to care so let's move on okay a darker color we basically uh, using this color apply it on top mean darken around half you can go even higher if you want to just make sure it doesn't uh, look like it's the same with the bricks basically and after that uh, yeah the black spots I talked about okay and then some a little bit more variation we can actually go a little bit lower with this with just the clouds too applied on top with an overlay with just a color I um, just did a gradient from this okay and applied on top just to level things uh, out a bit if it feels like it washed everything out simply remove it entirely you can do that as well but I think a little bit washed out look makes it feel more uh, more aged and of course we need to blend both of these together so we are going to do that okay we blend it both our bricks and uh, and the gravel and then we have our wall color which is basically going to just take the ground map we have over here and his uh, transformation and I'm going to start with a uniform color just a gray color and with a huge saturation lightness which basically is the same one so it's not really uh, yeah it's not going to do anything different with this uh, but this is on subtract so we're basically removing its own color formation from itself okay and after that is basically just adding more color variations so something like this which has a higher saturation and a lower hue and I'm just using a safe transform grayscale from the transformation to D and I think it just did yeah I just offset it a little bit so it doesn't look the same and we're blending it here's a color and after that we're going to do another pass with fractal sum 1 
levels so we basically just want these pots okay and we're blending it together on top of this with just a darker color this doesn't really matter use this use this we just want something darker to go on top okay and if we raise this you can see it popping more if you raise it way too much you can see that it's going to look more like concrete so you can just or it's going to make it a little bit more dirtier so if you want to just leave it like that or not okay depending what you want to do and then we're blending everything together with a wall mask with our wall mask and then finally we are adding our dirt on top just this color we have our dirt and then we output it and we get something like that looks like this let's go with the rounded cube okay and of course if you want to keep adding stuff I think the gravel should uh, need a little bit more work or you can eliminate it altogether or you can just use this uh, yeah this part of the material and just use it on a wall or something because this also looks pretty good so uh, that's it don't forget uh, to like and subscribe you can also of course download ma the material and along with all the other materials from the videos from my patreon page now I'm going to do some changes on the schedule because uh, yeah, work has been uh, too much lately so the weekly schedule doesn't really fit into what I want to do because I want to move into making more uh, project based uh, videos so for example we're going to take uh, well we're going to take one topic and cover it in through multiple videos and because I want this to be complete before they are made public so that means I'm going to be releasing uh, three and five videos together okay doing it weekly with all the other work and you know that this isn't basically my main work of what I do okay I'm going to change the yeah the schedule so I'm going to have a lot more time to prepare uh, resources and all stuff like that because we're going to move away from materials we're still going to do materials on occasion okay but yeah we're going to move into some other areas that I believe are interesting and surprisingly there aren't that many resources about them well there are a few but you know it's kind of vogue so that's it don't forget to like subscribe and I'll see you on the on well next time